welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So I keep getting asked what these things are that I've got plugged into my charger and they're quite literally just a little temperature sensor. Now if you look on most model stores you can pick them up from about six or seven pound. I have seen them up to about 17 quid. You can actually buy these from AliExpress and eBay for as little as £1.39 each, maybe even cheaper. Um, I bought a whole pack of six of them, um, or five, I think it were five, because I've got four inputs on this charger, and then I've also got that one. Um, but basically, all you need to look for, if you look on your charger, you'll have what looks like a little servo socket with either a thermostat marking on, or if you've got one of these style um, temperature sensor and it's just a little plug the menus on all the chargers are all very similar um, but basically this little sensor sits on your battery you just tighten the velcro up um, what I do try and do I've seen a lot of pictures where they sort of advise putting them there but in my mind it's only going to see that one pack whereas if you put it on the side it's going to see the temperature change of all three or two or four packs or six so you want it where it's going to see most of the packs but uh, you literally plug it in let's see if I can do this while I'm holding camera So they literally plug into charger and then you want to go into your settings on your charger. Now your first one you'll come across is safety timer. Now this is the maximum amount of time that your charger will let pass before it auto cuts off irrespective of whether the battery is full or not. So if like the uh, little Gen Zace bashing battery we've got here it's a 4000 milliamp hour. So if you're going to charge at 1C, 4 amp, you know it should charge in an hour. It will take slightly more because it ramps up the ampage slowly to start with and then when it gets to over about 90 or 95% it starts to pull down the ampage because that's when most heat's generated and it will damage your battery. Um, so you know you're charging at 1C which should take an hour. If you set this to say 1 hour 20 Put your battery from flat on a charge. The most it's ever going to allow it to do is 1 hour 20. So if for some reason you get a fault in one at Leeds or in the charger and it doesn't detect the battery's full after an hour, at 1 hour 20, this timer will cut your charge off so it won't overcharge your battery and explode and set on fire. The next cutoff you've got is the capacity cutoff. Again, you know this is 4000, and if you've watched any of my other videos, um, most batteries will charge to just over the stated milliamp hour. So, again, on this one, if you set it to 4200, you've got a 4000 milliamp hour battery, 200 milliamp overcharging won't explode any battery of, of like your 4000 size. 3000 not not the same situation if you've got a 650 milliamp hour battery cost 200 milliamp hour on that is a large percentage so you need to set this accordingly but if we take this for example 4000 so if on here you went in and set it to 4100 or 4200 again if the charger doesn't auto detect that the battery is full, once it's delivered 4200 milliamp hour, it will cut off the charging, which will stop your battery exploding through being overcharged. Now, the one we're looking for is this one temperature cutoff. Now, to set this, the best way to do it is to charge a battery at 1C or whatever your preferred charge rate is, check the temperature of the battery, see if it is warming up get some kind of reliable thermometer to check the temperature you can get the little key rings there's many ways of doing it make a note of that so if the maximum heat that this battery charge produces 
under your normal preferred method of charging, if that was 40 degrees, set the cutoff to 50. It's only 10 degrees difference, but under normal charging, your battery will never ever reach that. Again, depends on what rate you're charging, what battery it is. So you're going to have to do a bit of, bit of experimental work to find the sweet spot for this. But lithium batteries, off the top of my head, I think it's over 400 degrees what they ignite at. What we want to do is have this as a third method of safely cutting off the charger as soon as any issues occur. So if you have had a bit of a bad crash with your RC, something shorting out in the battery but you're not aware of it, you come in, put it on charge. What we want in this thing to do is the minute that battery starts producing any heat other than what it normally would, this will kick in the safety cut off and stop the battery being charged, which will stop thermal runaway and again, stop your house being burnt down. So I've purposely set it really low to 25 degrees and not put this on the battery. I know this battery is a good safe battery. So what I'm going to do is try and show you how quick it will cut the battery off. So LiPo, I'm going to charge it really slow because I don't really want it charging. So that's the battery charging. So if we go to monitor, we can see that currently this is reading 24 degrees. So if I grab hold of it just to simulate the battery charging up and uh, simulate it overheating, the external temperature is now going up. So we're at 21 degrees. We've got the cutoff set at 25. So. See if I can keep it on screen for when it does it. So the internal temperature is the actual charger. And the external temperature is this little thing that would be fastened on your battery. That if something's wrong, this will now be eating up. So we're at 24. I think I set it to 25, so it should cut off in a moment. Providing my hands can get it up to 24. 25, sorry. And there you go. External temperature high. So we've simulated if this battery had a slight issue, as soon as it started warming up, it's cut it off. And again, for even if you have to pay full price for these things, which the dearest I've seen them, I'm sure, is about 16 quid. But like I say, I paid £1.39 for these. Um, but to say almost, ev well, every charger I've ever used had a, has had a temperature, external temperature input. For how cheap these are, why on earth they don't give them you with the chargers is beyond me. I'm sure there's some manufacturers out there that do supply them. Um, these ones are Sky RC, which is same manufacturer as the charger, but they will work on any charger. Like I say, I've got one on this thing that she is owed. Um, and again, the menu's at same and the functionality is exactly the same. So if you add the safety timer, the milliamp hour limit, the external temperature sensor, and then you use... Not a huge fan of these LiPo bags because I think they'll go up with them. But if you use something like one of the ammo crates and vent it or you buy one of the bat safe boxes, you're pretty much using these sensors and the fail safes. You have got to be extremely unlucky for one of your LiPos to go up. Now, with all these sensors in place and charging in the likes of the bat safe or a modified ammo crate. I would say the chances of one of these batteries actually managing to catch on fire because of the charger overcharging or charge rate being too high would be extremely low. Um, I'm not going to say you'd be 100% safe and you can charge them unmonitored. That's your call. <laughs> but uh, if you've got like one of these chargers, you can connect to it via Bluetooth so you can monitor all this remotely from the app as well. So you can see what's going off with it. But 
definitely one of the best purchases for such a low price and it will work on I haven't seen any chargers with the screens that hasn't got an external temperature monitor plug um, I'm sure there is some out there but they're going to be very few and far between so I'll leave the links in the descriptions below if I can find a few places where you can get these from and hope that stops a few of you uh, from getting blazing fires from your lipos overcharging thanks again for watching WTFRC cars if you like the video like and subscribe don't forget to whack the notification bell so you can see when I upload other uh, mindless ramblings like this that may or not be of any use to anybody and we'll catch you guys again next time.